I want to stay active for a long, long time. The exercise is to get my lungs and, and legs in shape for skiing. I had to go downstairs backwards the other day. That's why I'm here. Actually, the exercise seems to me an awful lot of work, but it might make me a better skier. I want to get in shape for action on the 15th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. You can get weaker and weaker and keep living. You can get stiffer and stiffer and you're still alive. But you, have you ever tried enough breathing for a while? Wow. <laughs> What we're going to do first, keep running while I tell you. At the beginning and the end of every exercise period, you've, you've noticed we always do this running. Now I'm going to show you what I was leading up to all that time. This is really the most important. That's why I said, if you ever tried not breathing, this is the most important thing you can do as far as exercise is concerned. You really have to keep your circulation, your respiration built up. But again, for beginners, we're not out to kill you. You have to take it very, very easy to begin with. Watch Marie, who is going to, I hope, pace herself very well and walk through most of this. Any beginner should just walk slowly, or if you get, uh, you know, if you're capable, then run a little in place, but keep your hands on the back of a chair if you need to. And as you find yourself more and more capable, I'll give you beginner's exercises for each one of the variations we do. But whatever you do, don't do too much. We'll get back to slower exercises another time, but I just want to show you what you're capable of, and you all are. Okay, first of all, take off your shoes, your belts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Your shoes on. Right? <laughs> Remember with the running, always to make it toe heel and keep your chest up and tighten your bottom with each step. That doesn't seem to make so much difference with men. They're built a little bit differently, in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, okay. An untight bottom. Uh, well, you know, it, it's true that women, women tend to loosen up through here and men don't. And I, I still haven't figured out what the big difference is. There is a big difference, and I'll find it out Cortisone. sooner or later. Okay. <laughs> now for the beginners. The rest of you keep jogging while I show the beginners. Arms up and just clap them overhead. Just an easy variation. And the rest of you, jump with it. <laughs> These should really start your breathing, but beginners, don't do it. Just keep yourself walking or just running gently. Everybody breathing. <laughs> It's pretty quiet. We can always tell when people stop breathing. <laughs> oh, it shows every time. <laughs> oh. Okay, run in place for a minute. In between each variation, or whenever you get tired of doing a variation, run again until we get to the next one. Hope I get down those stairs safely. <laughs> Marie, what happened when you went down the stairs? Oh, well, I told you, it hurt. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. Where? You've been uh, right here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Marie, I have been, been trying Maggie's little. exercise. <laughs> that was just from too the, much. That was just from the running. The beginning. Yeah. That's the because beginning. you did just a little bit too much. This is one reason why uh, a little, little stiffness is good, but don't carry it too far. Always, just a little at a time. <sighs> Okay, for the next variation, beginners, keep jogging. Yeah. Beginners, <laughs> one arm up, and again, do it very yeah. gently. And the rest of you, jump into it and bend your knees. Straighten your elbows, and those of you who are, have nice, easy shoulders, swing your arms way up and back and way up in front. Careful. Wait <laughs> a minute, attack. I don't trust you. I can't see anything. By the way. You want a bottle kit? Okay, run. Anyone who possibly can, everyone can. In fact, I used to do it in my kitchen. Instead of sitting, try dancing. And I really mean I used to do it in my kitchen. When I fixed dinner, it was quite a sight. I'd turn on the radio and dance while I fixed it. Dinners were quite a sight, too. But That's it was how fun. I taught my children how to dance. What? That's where I taught my children how to dance. I couldn't teach my children how to dance. I'm a lousy dancer. I, but I sure have enthusiasm. 
She said the food was interesting, too. <laughs> okay, on the next one, again for the beginners, be very careful to do the variation. Come down, get your legs back, <laughs> I was and just to join the ranks. let your thighs down to touch. <laughs> and the rest of you, everybody ready? Now, believe me, don't try it unless you've been doing something all along. Down, out, back, and up. <sighs> run. That's one exercise that we never carry on too far because the men can show us up every time. Men are, <laughs> <laughs> men are much stronger through the shoulders than women are. Through the shoulders and arms Ready and trunk. Show it up. <laughs> Mariana, how many, uh, how many of those can you do? Have you tried? You mean and the number? How many? Yeah. These ones? I yeah. would say 20 or so. About 20? How many can you do? I, I have don't no know. idea. It's been a long time. <laughs> we ought to uh, make a contest. <laughs> <Yeah>. More than <laughs> 20. <laughs> Maybe I can do more than 20 too. I don't yeah, know. I'm not, I don't want to get into because this sort of competition. <laughs> <laughs> You're in right now. You're in the midst of an exercise. So I don't know. Okay. On the next one, beginners, just raise one knee up and then the other. The rest of you, hop. Huh? Oh. Beginners, take it very easy. Remember, if you hurt yourself doing anything, you're not going to get very far, so just do a nice, easy variation. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed, oh, in that case, it's all right. there's nothing like leaping around like this to get you to feeling good. And that has to do with your, when you run, your adrenals start working. This is what a doctor in Canada wrote, and I, I translate badly, but this is what it came down to. When your adrenals start working, they produce cortisone. And one of the side effects of cortisone is to make you feel euphoric. So what you're doing is producing your own cortisone so that any kind of running or exercise that makes you breathe deeply is going to make you feel great. And it works every time. Next time you get depressed, try it. Just run very fast for a while. Not beginners. Walk very fast. <laughs> and then as you build up over a period of time, get so you run faster and faster. And after a while, you'll find that the depressions just disappear as you run. I'm also supposed to masculinize you, isn't it? What? What is it? Cortisone. Cortisone? <laughs> That's why it's, they have to stop giving it to well, people. Well, uh, I've got cortisone, too, and it's not, uh, I, at least I don't think, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> exercise <laughs> always. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Exercise always makes men more masculine and women more feminine. It works every time. It really does. I'm still watching. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm watching for results. As far as I can see, it's working fine. <laughs> okay, you go on running while I show the people who are tired what to do. If you're really tired and feel yeah, like right, you can't do anything go. more, then right in front of the TV where you can watch us, put a pillow down so your hips will be on the pillow and put your legs up but you've got to be somewhere where you can watch the TV the whole time. We don't want you to miss anything. And just watch us. In case anybody didn't notice, the way I got up was this way. No hands. You're not allowed to use hands. <laughs> Even for beginners. No, beginners, we show a little easier way to get up, but you still don't use your hands. You have to start learning right away how to use your thigh muscles so that they really work for you. Okay, let's, let's do one now so yeah, you'll see. For beginners, again, bring the knees way down to one side and way down to the other. Bounce twice to either side. And for the, the rest of us, jump down this way. Swing your arms around just once to either side for those of you who can. Keep your knees bent as far as you can. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> I just crashed. <laughs> 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 That's bad. There we go. <laughs> you can quit now. <laughs> Thank you. Steve's going to explain now. to us. I hear he's an expert oh. on circulation, respiration. We purposely waited till he was out of breath so he wouldn't talk too much. <laughs> my, my great tendency, right. All right, the reason you start breathing hard, that's the question? That's the question. That's what it used to be. <laughs> 
There are actually two reasons. One of them is uh, neurophysiological. <laughs> it has to do with the central nervous system. And it can be voluntary or it can be involuntary, probably. We won't go into that one. <laughs> There's another one which just happens as a natural result. Exercising muscles. It, in a sense, poisons the blood. It fills the blood up with... with uh, changes the blood gla gas mixture, if you prefer. It doesn't really poison the blood. But the body acts as though it does. And in order to get rid of the extra CO2, you start breathing faster. And this is kind of involuntary. If you go up in high altitudes, the same thing will happen. Quite. Is that enough? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, again, for beginners. Got tasters here. <laughs> Thank you. They sample the blood. <laughs> okay, now, keep coming. And beginners, bring your arms back gently to begin with until you know how far you can do it. Just back, elbows first, and Make then sure arms. And then... <laughs> The rest of you run and do the same thing. Elbows back and arms back. Keep them up at shoulder level. This one's hard to, to phase. And yeah, how many steps? This is like trying to pat the top of your head and rub your tummy at the same time. Oops. <laughs> Two steps with each movement. All right. Okay, and run. So what does that exercise do for you? This is great for, you know, stretching it out through the shoulders and strengthening the shoulders a little bit, getting them, you know, a little flexibility and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, well, besides the fact that we're running all the time so that, you know, you're building up your body all over. All, the, all these that we're doing are really whole body exercises mm -hmm. just because we're running the whole time. <coughs> Tell me something. You know, this is something... I know because I've asked so many people, but I go on asking, when you think about yourself, how old do you feel you are? I don't mean how old are you, I mean how old do you feel you are when you A think about yourself? A lot younger than I am. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Me too. Everybody, everybody feels inside like they never get past 18 or 20. Yeah. And for us to let our bodies get out of control and go in the other direction, it's just ridiculous. You don't need to do it. It depends on context. What? It depends on context. If you're in a business meeting, you like to think of yourself as 35. Yeah, yeah, and then you grow the, the pot like people used no, to. No, you just you want to be dynamic, you know. You want to have good ideas and enthusiasm and but yeah, take over the meeting. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that young men are the ones that are filled with good ideas and, you know, are always... Young is not 35. <laughs> Very, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm older. You want to be older sometimes. You think young is 35. Wow. But, you know, the, the idea, the, the meaning of a uh, businessman before used to be a man of substance. That's what I'm trying and to say. That they used to think of, you know, the, the big belly and the big cigar. And yeah. that, that isn't the way to be anyway. It's, uh, Especially not it's, nowadays. I shouldn't say that there. My husband's out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Derek. <laughs> okay, for the next one. Come down. Beginners, feet out and let your bottom down and up. Okay, the rest of you come down. And jump your feet over to one side and over to the other. Beginners, take it easy. Do your, your beginning exercise. Like me. Try to turn your hips completely to the side. So the side of your hip touches the floor. <laughs> and up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What does that exercise do for you? Yeah. I know it can't do it. Working working sore. <laughs> I hope they have I soft carpets at home. Where, but where can My you shoulders. feel it? Mostly. Through the shoulders right. and through here. The twisting will make you feel it through here, but it's actually, it's a whole body exercise again. Do you really? My weak spots. Well, this mostly is my heels. Your heels. Your heels. Exactly. I'm supposed to come down very gently on your heels. You know, I, I don't know whether anybody else looks at exercise the way I do. As far as I'm concerned, it's conservation. Conservation begins at home. You really should always, when you think about air pollution and, uh, you know, all the other things that are polluting life, think first about what you've got here because this is the basic place where you start conservation. And it's all kind of, uh, it's making things stretch, you know, like you make your money stretch. If you, you know, you can always make your mind stretch. You also have to learn to make your body stretch. You make it do as many things as it can possibly do. You get the most out of it you possibly yeah. can. Is that a good idea? That makes you look forever. What next? Down, 
<laughs> okay, down. Beginners, um, those of you, the rest of you keep running. Beginners down and just straighten a little. If you can, straighten your knees, but I, I, I don't oh. think the beginners will be able to, but try, just straighten up a little bit. Uh -huh. And the rest of you come down and very close to your hands. Hop your feet out and in. Did you run, Steve? <laughs> I can get him any closer. <laughs> and up ah. and run. Gets a little warm in here. <laughs> Everybody got red faces now. <laughs> By the way, this if you've got a color TV and can see, everybody's beautifully pink. This is where the, the term <laughs> the pink of condition comes from. You open up new capillaries once you get the blood to really rushing through. You, everybody unless they're in terribly good condition. Even then, they usually will get a lot more color in their face and a lot more wet, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't come from your toe down to your heel each time. Doesn't look like I'm doing it right. No. No? Make it, uh, try to point your toe no, and come down that way. Really accentuate it. That makes it even better. <clears throat> Okay, now this is, again, a little bit of a tough one. Beginners, reach up and try and kick your heel to touch your elbow. And be sure you, you don't, don't do it if you're going to lose your balance. You might even put your arms out and just kick up to come, come somewhere near your hands. And the rest of you hop and try to kick your elbow this way. <laughs> What's the matter, Bob? <laughs> What's this good for? Oh, <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. Exactly. Don't, don't, don't kick me. Always good like publicity. <laughs> Remember, like a, beginners. Feel like just a puppet with the saddest thing on the end. The touch. The rest of you, come on, you can go a little longer. Oh, yeah. Let your shoulders down towards your heels. No, back me. <laughs> and run. <laughs> really in <intense. laughs> She really, really loves to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Every morning for an you hour. The strings from my ankles and the strings from my head. Can you, imagine, right. Right. Yeah. Can you imagine what your first day of skiing would be like if you did this for an hour every day till then? Oh, well. Sounds all right. It's usually unparalleled ecstasy. Anyway. <laughs> but just think if you could spend the whole day out there without getting stiff and go back out the second day too. Never been done. I don't think. I know he just sort of died. Yeah. How about you, Wendy? Yeah. How long does it take you to wear yourself out on the first day? About two seconds. <laughs> it's about thirty seconds. Okay. Sitting so down on the chair, chair looks bad enough. No. The camp? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, you can't ski for a long time the first day. Oh yeah, I kill myself usually the first day, and up and down, and up and down. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it. That's good. That's good. You kill yourself. That's good. When I started skiing, you had to walk up. Oh, yeah. boy. I know. Oh. Now, now you have yeah, options. I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I you can still walk up if you want to. Okay, down. Beginners, just turn one foot out and then the other. I don't think so. One foot out <coughs> and then the other. And the rest of you, kick. Oh. <laughs> Me. Who's <in> here? <laughs> turn your heel in so you're using the inside of your thigh. Lighting the snow of your boots. <laughs> 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 well, now we know what that feels like. I hope you can hear us panting. I hate to have it go to waste. <laughs> Feel the capillaries too. <laughs> yeah, I kind of hear them. Yeah, they should have uh, uh, what are they microphones strapped to our our pulses or something. That <laughs> would be a deafening roar, wouldn't it? Just have yeah, music. <laughs> That's what we need for background music. That's right. Musicological drums. Beginners, I hope you're still out there just walking. Uh, enjoy yourselves watching us torture ourselves, but really keep walking or lie down and rest for a while. But remember with that when you begin slowly the way we do, you also end slowly. Don't ever stop suddenly 
and then lie down because it's the worst thing in the world you can do. Like, you know, with animals when they race them. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, you take them up slowly, but then you have to walk them afterwards when they come down. This is uh, just to make sure you don't run into any troubles. It's the safest way to do it. After you, you know, after you run down, then you can lie down for a while. Not you two, not you five. <laughs> How did we get designated experts in here? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything you're about it. You're still on your feet. You're experts. <laughs> okay, hands on your, th on your thighs. Okay, as your leg uh, beginners, I'm sorry. Those, uh, those of you who are experts, wait a minute for me. Uh, beginners, just run your hand down to your thigh this way as you lift your leg out. Just lift and reach down as far as you can. Let your shoulders go too. And the, the rest of you, do it jumping. Let your head and your shoulders go at the same time. Oops, I'm sink. <laughs> Bob, you haven't said a word. This might be good for Concentrating. He hasn't even sworn. <laughs> Is it Wait a minute. Show? <laughs> oh. What'd you do? Did you hurt your knee? No. Oh. <laughs> you always scared me. I won't be. Run. Whenever you okay. get tired, remember slow down and start in running slowly again. Everybody's getting damp. Okay, Bob, what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> yeah, great, just wonderful. <laughs> I can tell you we're enjoying it. Very rainy. Hey, hot. You're forgetting to go toe heel. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'm really sensitive. You know, the more pliable you get your feet now, the. Uh, you don't you want know, your feet pliable. I, I, I always worry oh. about oh. ski boots. It's something that's always bothered me because you hold your foot so still. That's right. Yep, that's so you right. really should have your foot good and pliable, pliable before you start skiing. So it can conform to the boot? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're, so your feet stay pliable in spite of skiing. Oh, I see. And I, that's why I think running this way is especially good because you really work your whole foot. Okay. Now, beginners, again, do this just walking or standing still. And the rest of you, mm. arms up and bounce them back and out a little. And out a little. Don't hit anybody. And out a little. <laughs> and down a little. And down. And down. And down all the way. Swing them back as far as you can. This again is to get flexibility through the shoulders. You know, the big reason for pushing yourself this way only once you build up slowly, you know, you build yourself up as you go along. But the reason that you push yourself this way is once your body has used up more or less the store of energy it has and you start going a little bit further, when your body is tired and you keep going, is when it seems to learn the fastest. Then it really picks up things and begins pushing ahead. It's, and also, the one thing that I love is the business of getting to the point where you get your second wind. I've, I've run into people who have never, never learned what a second wind was. They've never gotten to the point where they actually broke through out Lucky people. <laughs> Lucky people, First did you on the way. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't hurt, really. It's no. so much fun. Point. That's a beautiful <laughs> feeling. I mean, I so it. It, it hurts a little bit in a way. I mean, it's a real effort. It's a real but once spot. you get out there, isn't it like it's, yeah. it's like a whole new world? Yeah. They can just go on all over again. It's a mm. beautiful feeling. It really is. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> there are easy ways to get high, I'm sure. <laughs> You're supposed cool. to say if I say so. <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <clears throat> okay, down. Beginners, you can walk out if you want to one side and then to the other this way. Okay. And the rest of you, <laughs> come on down, Steve. <laughs> the water's fine, though. Yeah. Out to the side and in and out and in. Oh. Mm. 
somebody. We've had nightmares. Did he kill you? No. I, I killed him. What do you mean? He's my foot. I don't think skiing is this difficult. <laughs> you can scare the people, you know. What? No, no, nobody should get scared. Uh, anybody, anybody at all over a period of time can build up this. I'd be willing to bet, and I, I'm sure I'll be around to show you, that people up to 75, 80, 85, 90 can still do this. I really do intend to be around to show you. Oh, grand until he was 90. <laughs> but this is really just just a matter of working up by a little every day. And that is that, right? that isn't the big yeah. effort. That's yeah. just a little oh, effort every day. <laughs> you start slowly always and just add result, a little right? slowly. When I first started running, I think it was about a minute wore me out so completely I could hardly move. I thought I was gonna die. But each day I've added to it until I one day drove my husband crazy. I decided I was gonna see how long I could run in place. It was a Sunday I turned on the TV, and I ran in place. At the end of three and a half hours, he was ready to kill me. He said, if I didn't stop, he was going to kick me out. You were to kill yourself. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. I quit. <laughs> I know when it's uh, the time to quit. <laughs> I guess we know that. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Slow down a little, because the next one's a good tough one. Just what we need. <laughs> okay, everybody down. Beginners, just with your hands on the floor, bounce a little, just a very little. Those of you who are in good condition, put your arms up straight. And you jump 25. This is only for people in good condition. The rest of you just do a few. 25 with your knees apart and 25 of them together. Keep your elbows straight. Two years ago, I could not do a single one. That's great. I That's thought my great. knees would break. <laughs> but I have to stop after ten. Now. That's okay. You're building. <laughs> this is another one of the things that is beautiful to show because people say deep knee bends are, are bad. They aren't. All you have to do is be very gentle and work your way gradually. <laughs> I'm not going to do more than 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Did you count? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is official. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You know, my mother always used to tell me, my, my mother, she really did too, use it or lose it. So I listened for 10, 20, 30 years, and I suddenly began to realize what she meant. So now I'm using it, and it makes a terrific difference. It really does. Everybody else out there ought to try it. It really makes all the difference in the world. Look at Marianne and look at what we're going to do to these. <laughs> Good for you. Ciao.